Joining me now, Senator Marco Rubio, a Republican from Florida, who sits on the Senate Foreign Relations and Intelligence Committees. Great to see you, Senator. Good I have to, to ask you. you, would you have done the same thing that the president no, did to get a Bergdahl back? Not. Absolutely not. Let me, let me say a couple things. Obviously, no one is lamenting the fact that an American serviceman is going to be back with his family. Uh, but the president's considerations have to go beyond that. It has to be about acting in the national security of the United States. And it has to be about following the law. Uh, number one, the president has violated the law here. The law is very clear. He must give congressional uh, uh, notification 30 days before any prisoner in Guantanamo is released. He failed to do that. Apparently, the only person he told was Harry Reid, didn't even tell the chairwoman of the Intelligence Committee, a Democrat, right. Dianne Feinstein. And then beyond that, what the president that he, the precedent that the president has set is a dangerous one. He has basically told terrorist elements around the world that if you take an American serviceman hostage, you could get five, six, three, however many number of your own folks released. And these right. are dangerous well, people. I well, mean, do you these think are people it was a, returning to the battlefield. Do you think it was a means to the end? Because if you recall back in January, President Obama in the State of the Union talked about the fact that 2014 was going to be the year when he wanted to close Gitmo. Yeah, his argument is that, uh, first of all, that's something he's tried to do from the day he got elected. He doesn't, uh, because he doesn't view this as a war. And in fact, when it comes to Afghanistan, he has all but proclaimed the war is over. Now, it may be over for him, but it's not over for the Taliban, who, and, and uh, by evidence of the fact that these five very dangerous individuals are not just probably, they are likely to return to the battlefield at some point. Uh, in the future. In the meantime, uh, that we've set this extraordinarily dangerous precedent right. and created an incentive for well, other groups to do the same thing. Let's look at the recidivism rate because out of the 614 former detainees that have been transferred, 104 have re-engaged in terrorism. Another 74, 12.1% are suspected of doing so. So that makes a total of about 29% who go back out and commit crimes. But I want to ask you this. Did the intel community support this transfer or not? Well, uh, he didn't notify the intelligence committees. I mean, obviously, some of us who are up here in intelligence committees were aware of discussions three or four years ago, but he didn't notify anybody. He went out and unilaterally did this, and I would mention, in violation of the law. Um, and again, I mean, this is a pattern of behavior by this White House. He has, uh, he believes somehow that he's become a monarch or an emperor that can uh, basically ignore the law and do whatever he wants. Well, and there's a real growing frustration, even among Democrats, at this sort of behavior. Well, Democrats, yes, they are very upset that they didn't know about it. But I guess it's a different question to ask, what would you have done instead? So, Senator Rubio, what would you have done instead? Well, first of all, I would have loved to have him back with his family, and I think that's something I would continue to work towards, but not in exchange for what he's done here. He has released five enemy combatants and actively engaged in a war against us, members of terrorist organizations, five of not just anybody's, but some very dangerous individuals. One was a senior commander in the Taliban who are soon going to be reengaged against the United States uh, in some way or fashion. Uh, th this is not something that anyone uh, who's in charge of our national security as a commander-in-chief is right. should have engaged. In doing. I want to get your quick comments on Senator Chris Murphy, Democrat of Connecticut, tweeted this. Really sad to watch Obama haters attack this kid who chose to fight to protect the rest of us just to score political points. And you'd say what? Well, I'm not sure who he's referring to. I've never attacked him. His name's never come out of my mouth in any negative way. As I said, I think we're all glad that he's back with his family. I think this was the wrong way to do it because I think as commander in chief, you have a greater responsibility to the national security of the United States now and in the future, and this decision the president has made directly endangers uh, the security of, of millions of Americans uh, potentially in the future. All right, Senator Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida, thanks for your time, sir. Thank you.